Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Everything vaping related to Junkie Rock 13. My real name is Ross Sanders and today I'm bringing you a look at a cartomizer tank known as the Vash Tank. This tank is handmade by a member of the community known as Gothic Vash. He also has a show, a vaping related show. Um, his wife's website is known as Gothic Vaping. So we're going to take a close look at the Vash Tank and see what I think about it. Let's get right to it, folks. Okay, so here's the close-up of the Vash tank. Now you have to remember these are all handmade, uh, made out of acrylic, and they are going to be no two alike. Um, this particular one has a yellow and white and sort of like a black swirl, almost like a purple, the black is like. So these are the end caps. Okay. Um, very nicely machined, uh, very well designed. There's a um, an O-ring on the inside in there for the cartomizer, and an O-ring on the outside to come in contact with the tank tube. Really like the design of these because of the the different swirl pattern of the acrylic. Very nice. He has a lot of different colors, a lot of different designs. <clears throat> There are the tank ends, or the tank caps, I should call them. Okay. And the tube is made out of polycarbonate. Okay, he cuts all the polycarbonate himself. Uh, nice edges, nice and clean. No rough edging on there. And the drip tip section is of unique shape. Um, a lot of drip tips seem to be taking on the Ming shape. But this has kind of like a Ming crossed over with a pawn crossed over with something else. Um, unique design. I kind of like it. Uh, fits very nice. The, the swirl pattern and the color really nice looking all right so put that down and i will fill up the vash tank just like any other let me just get my cartomizer here just like any other cardo tank i'm going to use the slap your mama tool to push it through the tank caps oh, i got juice on my finger one second here. Um, push it through here. All the way down to the end right there. Alright. Now I'll take the polycarbonate tube. And just place it on the end cap there. Now I can take my juice which today I'm going to be working with some penanal neurosis and fill this up. Now I did already pre-fill up the cartomizer. It was soaking in some juice. <clears throat> and I'll just take the end cap. Oh, I don't want to tip it. Take the end cap and just Slide it on there. Okay. Did I get that all the way on there? I like making sure <clears throat> this is all nice and cleaned up and no juice is leaking out. And I'll take off the slap your mama tool, throw that off to the side. 
and then just take the last strip tip. Okay. So there you go. Let me just wipe this down a little bit. And there is the Vash tank. So let's vape out of it and see what I think about it. Alrighty, so there you have it. There's the close up of the Vash tank. Um, you know, the Vash tank was one of those cartomizer tanks that I really liked the way it looked. Um, it kind of gave me the same look of the tank like the Bella, the Elegance, the John Boy, uh, made out of acrylic ends. Um, but this also gave me the opportunity to use different drip tips if I chose to. In my opinion, I like the, the drip tip that comes with the Vash tank, or that can be purchased with the Vash tank, I should say. Um, it, it just gives that little final look to it um the drip tip is nice has a little rib around the end of it uh ribbed for your pleasure i guess um performs great let me give you a quick vape on the vash tank Now I have a low resistant Bogue Cardamizer, extra large um, in length. They, uh, I have three punched holes in there and I'm vaping Neurosis by Panino Juice. Um, I have it on the Boss Mod. You know, I'm enjoying the Vash Tank because, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person that likes rebuildables. I love my Genesis. I love my uh, rebuildable dripping atomizers. I love my silica rebuildables like my Kfon and Odysseus and Ithaca and Penelope's. And I love all them. But I guess, like Zen said, it's our dirty little secret that we still relate and we still go back to the cardamizer tank or the cardamizer themselves. I love cardo tanks. And I know a lot of people say... You know, I'm sick and tired of cardo tanks, but I use a cardo tank all the time. Unfortunately, I, 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 I enjoy them. Um, I like using bold cardamizers. I like the regular and the extra large in length. Um, and they work well. They're a nice vape. Uh, for new vapors, cardo tanks are easy to use. And it gives them a lot of vape time in between filling them up. Me personally, I'm enjoying the Vash tank. I think if you are looking for a tank with a little spiced up design with the acrylic um, swirled colors, they got blue, green, pinks, every different uh, color and design. I'm sure if you know of a piece of acrylic out there that has a certain design like a red white and blue or something and you called up um gothic fash i'm not 100 percent sure he could do it but talk to him maybe he can get you a uh, tank made in that color uh, they do come in regular for the regular cardamizers and the extra large like this one for the extra large cardamizers he also sells the tanks separately i believe and the drip tips separately so you can buy them um, separate if you would like to. So if you want to try one out, get over to gothicvaping.com and check out the Vash tank. I want to thank Gothic Vash for giving me this tank at Vape Fest. Um, I was really happy when he gave this to me and uh, for review purposes. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's a, nice, a nice tank. I really enjoy it. So check them out, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Be kind to one another and keep on vaping.